Ronald is one of the best local players, at, at, and especially at this particular local shop where, where we play, um, but is new to Legacy. And um, at least newer than the rest of us, and newer than the rest of us. He, he, he's been playing for a while, but this is Ronald's first deck that he has built, and uh, Yurion Death and Taxes is, is uh, the deck he's enjoying at the moment. So turn one vial, turn one vial. Ben is here. We haven't seen Ben in a while, but Ben is here, everybody. Ben is here. <laughs> What's up, Ben? As always, we stand rolling. Poing is here. Eshoop is here and says, since when is this stream live? Yeah. Kind of a strange question. I know you're joking, though. And what's up, Spike Pack TV? Spike Pack TV is hanging out with us. My summer, my summer has been busy, too, Ben. It's okay. I'm just playing with you. All right. A Delver here for Roland and a port online uh, for, for Ronald. But the uh, life totals are at the top of the screen, by the way. We will uh, remove the um, rankings up there if, if we need to, if people are having trouble seeing the um, life totals. But a Thalia got taken care of, and now Vial on two. So this is the kind of start you like as a Death and Taxes player, without worrying about what Roland's up to right now. Having the Vial available, the Port available, and, uh, uh oh, brainstorm and in response, Spirit of the Labyrinth. Roland, <laughs> you see Roland flash on the screen there. Roland effed up, everybody. He effed up. That's it. that's the uh, only nice way I can put that. It's been a long time since I've had a chance to see Roland play on here. Yeah, Ro Roland's been busy all summer as well. People are enjoying their summers here in New York, and uh, that's great. You don't get to all right, Fork Bolt on top of the deck, though, for Roland, as both Delvers turn into Exile Aberrations. We'll uh, remove the Discord chat from the screen for now. It's a little distracting. And now a... Uh, okay. So Solitude took out one of the Delvers. Roland gains three life. And uh, Ronald going the wrong way. Loses three life down to 16. Spirit of the Labyrinth, one of the... It's not even a recent card, but in some sense it's a recent addition to uh, Legacy Death and Taxes. To some extent. I mean, with the Urion piles, people are running a lot more copies of Spirit of the Labyrinth, so it's a lot more prominent. I think that's a better way to put it. Yurion's still in the companion zone. An insectile aberration available here, but Roland second guessing an attack. Activate Vile. Uh oh. And here's Skyclave Apparition. Which actually is a new addition because it's a new card and is a critical uh, part of this legacy death and taxes deck at this at this point. Uh, indicator of one on the apparition, so remember it exile the Delver. And now Roland fetches, goes to 19, gets a Volk. So this game is looking like it's going really well for, for Ronald. But yeah, 82% favored for Grixis Delver says chat. Good evening, Park. DNT, let's go. I don't know why, but your stream is the only stream that keeps freezing for me. Is, is anybody else having problems with the stream? Because I, I've been having some computer hardware issues, but I think I solved them. And uh, just let me know if, if something's not working. By the way, everybody, I should just start an IT company because I solved the problems with my computer all on my own, was on the phone with Apple, I use Mac, for days, and uh, solved it all on my own without their advice. They have the right tokens, yeah. They have the right tokens. We see an illusion token, a foil one too. So far, so good on that. We won't have to uh, get upset about that right now. Speaking of being upset, is anybody watching right now upset today about Magic the Gathering? We had a huge 
announcement show this morning. Announcing a, a bunch of different things beyond just products. Okay, we're getting some yeses in chat. What are what specifically are you upset about and why? In your own words. 300 words or less. Did I turn the computer off and then back on? I, I did and that didn't do it, but I figured it all out. People are majorly upset. Okay. Not a fan of Lord of the Rings. Okay, Lepark just got banned. I'm happy. I like Lord of the Rings. The secret layers are hilarious. Commander Collection Black looks sick. I forgot about the Commander Collection. So many things announced, I forgot about the Commander Collection. I don't even remember. Are there any legacy relevant cards in the Commander Collection? It flashed on screen so fast. I don't even remember what was in it. I feel like it was like the, the flip Liliana. And then beyond that, I don't remember anything. Kamigawa, they, they teased us with secret lair art and then went a completely different direction. Yeah. Deluge, if you count. Oh, uh, Deluge. Is, is Deluge even con considered a legacy card anymore? Wasn't happy with the casting of Gideon, says Monka. They should have went with John Cena. <laughs> Stop it, Monka. Deluge and Reanimate. Oh, Reanimate is in there? I didn't even I didn't even notice it. it. It was it was so fast I didn't even see it. I have to I have to look up the reanimate later. I'm tempted by that. I don't mind the secret layers Fortnite. I hate it. I'd never buy it or users get. Yeah, I don't I don't play Fortnite, so I'm just not really excited about that one, but it's I don't really care. Someone else if someone else buys it and uses it, that doesn't bother me. Sanctum Prelate, uh, secret. Yeah, the cop, the carpet of flowers, secret layer looks awesome. Agreed. Okay, as we, as we see, as we uh, see on the screen, Roland is getting destroyed right now. Roland is getting destroyed. Can't even draw a card from Spirit of the Labyrinth. This is uh, this is not good, folks. I just don't like them forcing me to use other IPs, but I don't mind if some someone else. Yeah. The Fortnite one seems fine since it's only a reprint thing. Yeah, the Fortnite one will only be reprints, so you'll have other options. If they do Lord of the Rings with Godzilla treatments, I'm fine. I think they already said that they're not doing that. It's just going to be uh, Universes Beyond. Beta or Alpha duels. Those were foreign Blackwater duels, I believe, for Roland. All right, we're, we're going to game two here. Lord of the Rings being modern legal annoys me, says it's fabby. You know what? Like, just for the sake of, like, being consistent, I don't really understand why the Lord of the Rings set would be legal in modern, but whatever. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Why, why would it be in modern? It seems like against the rules. <laughs> against the rules that the company makes that makes the card. Perfy is here. What's up, Perfy? We haven't seen Perfy in a while. All, all, the, all the people are coming out of the woodwork, everybody. If I could bet on Roland even after seeing game one, I would. Yeah. If, if you're going to bet on Roland after uh, game one loss, it's a good bet. Generally, do not like crossover IPs, but if they count them as skins, I have no problem with it. Can we just get a RoboCop? <laughs> Can we just get a RoboCop set? I'm kidding. Oh man, I just remember back months and months ago, we had a live stream where members of chat shared what IPs would just be the worst to make magic sets out of. And uh, those are some of the best laughs I've had. And if you have ideas for worst IPs for secret lairs, uh, please share them in chat. I, I love the laughs. They're going to make an elf that we would play in modern? Yeah, probably, right? Biff Buckshot, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. All right. We shouldn't. War <laughs> Wizards will be watching and make that next. <laughs> oh, Ch Chileth got auto modded, and it's probably for the best. 
If they're mechanically unique, make them silver border, yeah. Thoughts on the retro frame only legacy poll on Facebook? Yeah. Cool. Sure. Wait, what? what's the poll? I'm out of the loop. Teletubby secret lair. <laughs> Though I think they handle D&D &D well. I, I, I didn't play at all with the D&D &D set. Oh, your, your point does remain cor correct, Chilith. Elfin lied. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Shrek secret lair went. You know what? I'd, I'd be down with a Shrek secret lair. Shrek is cool. I'd also be down for Toy Story. I like Toy Story. Just adjusting font sizes here. So, so many things went wrong for me uh, from a technology standpoint last week that I basically had to rebuild everything you see on the stream. And uh, that's why everything looks a little bit a little bit uh, off as far as the placement. Let's see if I could fix some things here while I'm live. Text overlapping is bothering me. Let's see. Nah, it's not gonna. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Secret Lair Wing Commander. Shrek gets a pass. Yeah, Shrek gets a pass. An anime drop. Do, do we have an anime Secret Lair yet? Or was it just the um, War of the Spark? Are those the only um, anime cars in existence? The War of the Spark? Japanese alternate whatever? Yep. What would be, okay, <laughs> on a positive note, what would be awesome secret lair, like, um, IP crossovers? What would be good ones that you would actually buy, like, without even seeing the cards? Which ones would you buy without even seeing the cards? <laughs> Paul is playing Legacy, but only retro frame cars, 1993 to 2003, and the 300-ish retro reprints they've done recently. Isn't that just old frame? Isn't that a format already? And also, why would anybody play that? I don't know. King Arthur related. Yeah, I like King Arthur. Secret Lair Alpha reprints for Arcan Man. What's up, Arcan Man? My husband said Care Bears. <laughs> Care Bears would actually be funny. Lego. Okay, we need Lego crossovers in Magic for sure. For sure. I'm not, I'm not even in denial about that. Two spirited elaborates, but two insectile aberrations swinging here. Solitude hits one. We don't need Legos? Yeah, I think we need Legos. Scooby Doo would be fun, says Tyler Goblin Grandy. I'm not sure about Scooby Doo. Gundams? <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't even remember what Gundams are. What are Gundams? Mel, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Oh, Gundams are like the like battle tech looking things, right? That fly. Have they done Transformers? They did do Transformers, but it was like a silver border promo thing. Secret Lair Willow? What's Willow? Gundam is Mecha. Okay. Watch a lot of my videos on YouTube. First time here. What's up, everyone? What's up? I, I love when people join us after, after watching us on YouTube. That, that's like my favorite thing. Thank you for finding our Twitch channel, and thank you for watching. Appreciate you being here. And if you're joining us for the first time, we usually have webcam live legacy happening right here um and it looks like we'll be back to that next week this week we're on a little hiatus from webcam magic for technical reasons what's up one mr lee you did not miss the lgs matches yet mr lee is the star of the show today i'll be showing some matches 
So, Mr. Lee, follow Mr. Lee and, and uh, check out Mr. Lee's channel if you have not already. But Mr. Lee was visiting New York City, met up with Roland and I over this past weekend, played some matches at our LGS, and we recorded it, and I'll be showing those today. So that's fun. Willow and Legend are classic 80s fantasy movies. Highly recommend. Modes, two damage here. Oh, okay. And discard card. I think they could take any popular 80s and some 90s cartoons and make them into good sets or secret layers for MTG. Possibly. Possibly. I think people are overestimating the impact of something like that, though, compared to, uh, for example, Fortnite. All right, Field of Ruin on the board now for, uh, for Ronald, but no creatures. Caracas available. Delver swinging in here. Ronald at 10 life. Rolling at 17. Life totals are at the top of the screen in case people aren't finding them. I know it's just almost corrupt. Batter Skull getting hard cast here. Let's see if that uh, resolves. I was just like, sorry, you, know, you can still counter spell me. Yeah, yeah. Not optimistic, you but could. let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like it resolved. With a Frexian Germ token foil, by the way. Finally, we can watch Magic on Netflix. Yeah, did, is anybody excited about the Magic on Netflix show? I already know that, like, animated shows are not really my thing in general. Like, I don't watch any animated shows right now. And and uh, I'm at a loop on what, abs uh, on what um, animated shows are even in existence right now. So I, it's unlikely I would probably watch uh, an animated magic show. Unless it was highly recommended to me by uh, the people that are in chat right now, of course. Dune the Gathering. Is anybody right now excited about the Dune movie? I know I, I'm like all over the place as far as subject matter. Conan the Barbarian would be nice to look at. <laughs> oh, why Conan the Barbarian? Personally, a Sailor Moon set would be a maze balls, but that's just my opinion. Sailor Moon, is Sailor Moon still hot? Like, is Sailor Moon popular? All right, Roland takes game two. Like, is Sailor Moon still a thing where, like, people are still buying Sailor Moon products? And are there Sailor Moon games? I, I'm so out of the loop. I don't, I don't know much about Sailor Moon. Sorry, Sailor Moon. They should add magic to Fortnite so I can refer to MTG as that thing from Fortnite. I mean, that would be good for magic, right? Whatever happened to the MTG movie directed by the Russo brothers? I have no idea. My wife said Sailor Moon is still relevant. Okay. I, I, I don't think I've ever looked at anything Sailor Moon in my life. Yorion can block, and if you have a bolt, you kill it. That's not a, that, I'm not. I'm not being mean. Just it's just a fact. I have. I'm totally ignorant. They redid the anime as a reboot and named it Sailor Moon Crystal, and it actually follows the manga almost directly instead of what they did in the early '90s. It was good. Okay. Hunter Hunter still had relevant cult followers. Nice. Okay. So Sailor Moon would be a good option then, uh, according to people in chat. It sounds like. So what about the the lineup of of sets? I'll I'll start with Kamigawa, and, and I know some people talked about this already. Kamigawa. Are there people watching right now that are huge Kamigawa fans that are excited or are bummed out? Or are there people that were not Kamigawa fans that are excited about the set? Like, where does everybody stand on this? Where, where does everybody stand? Because it reminds me in no way of original Kamigawa based on the art that they showed. Based on the art that they showed. They also hinted that there is a new emperor of Kamigawa, whatever that means. And it's a character we already met. And I was like, I have no idea who the hell that would be. I, I don't have a slightest idea. Like, would it be Umizawa? <laughs> That's like the only person that comes to mind. Weatherlight Saga, best MTG plot of all time. Was the Weatherlight Saga actually a good story? I don't really remember the story that well. Is it one of the Praetors? Oh, shoot. Poing, you might be onto something there. 
I think Poing maybe got it. Poing, that's that's a good guess. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah. Oh shoot. Poing might have guessed like dead on accurate right now. Isn't Kamigawa Phyrexia now? Is it? I have no idea. No clue. Not that I'm aware of. Man, Ronald's getting a, a Spirit of the Labyrinth on the board every game. And, and, and as a usually blue player, I, I don't like it at all. There's Stoneforge Mystic on the stack here. Double Masters Extended Art, I believe. My kid would love Walking Dead cards. Did did you get the um, other Walking Dead cards, like the ones that already exist? Mirrored in his new Phyrexia, yeah. That's, I I know that one. I think Magic should stick to medieval stuff, dragons, barbarian artifacts. I I actually strongly disagree with that. I I don't think they should stick to medieval stuff at all. And. A, a good example of why they shouldn't is Amonkhet, Mirrodin, uh, even Kamigawa, not me medieval There's dragons, barbarians. Yeah. Stoneforge still in the stack. Rolling counting stuff. <laughs> Kaladesh is as far as they should go for tech. <laughs> Maybe. Ancient times, yeah. I mean, it depends. There's also... Wait, so what's after Kamigawa? Let me think now. Kamigawa, and then and then it's the... The Mobsters of Sateno, whatever, whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. The Mobster set? The Demon Mobsters? You're waiting for Yu-Gi-Oh to appear in an MTG Secret Lair. That that would be kind of weird. I don't know if they would do that. In Surger Seprazano, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Mirrored in are robots, but it's not traditional robots. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, Streets of New Sepenna. Thank you. Streets of New Sepenna. Is anybody uh, pumped about that one? That one, that one, I think, was the one that confused me the most, where I was just like, I have no idea what to think about this. Like, all the other ones I felt like cool or not so cool, but Streets of New Sepenna, I have, like, no take. I, I, like... It gave me no feeling except confusion. <laughs> and not even in a bad way. I just don't know what I think. Sudden Edict from Roland, but two creatures in play. Let's see Let's see if Stoneforge or Spirit are the ones to go. All right, Spirit. Spirit down. You want a blimp-style vehicle like Essica's Chariot? Oh, that could be cool. Gang family with three colors. Maybe that would be good. Yeah, maybe. Are we going to see Gabos tonight? Possibly, possibly. So here's what I can do right now, actually. Here's what I can do right now. I can um, set up a poll here for which match we watch next. Poll. What's up, Goblin Lackey? Goblin Lackey, I, I tried your latest goblins list yesterday. I went two, two, one, and one at the shop. Um, well, actually, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's your latest list, but it's latest to me. Uh, with Mass Vandal in the main and uh, Ley Lines back in the sideboard, Kiki Jiki in the deck, I'm digging it. Chandelier getting the shaft again, yeah. Okay, let's let's set up a poll for which uh, match we watch next. I was gonna bounce in. 
Um, I have, let's see. I'm just putting the options in here. That makes me sad. It makes me happy that I didn't die to that just yet. All right, got to pull up for which match we should watch next. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't use goblins for a week and uh, played Jeskai Raghavan. So the matches you see with Jeskai Raghavan in the, uh, in the poll happening right now, that's me. That's me playing the deck. Um, but then this week I switched back to goblins again. Couldn't resist. Yeah, the stifle there is pretty good. Culliger come play ad is on the board though, without a germ token. Culligan's command getting cast here. And uh, discarding Skyclave Apparition is Ronald. Yeah, Stifle and K-Command. Roland, Roland trying to bring back Grixis Delver as it once existed. Yeah. <laughs> what year does Roland live in? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the polls. So this channel is completely corrupt, and the polls are rigged. The elections are rigged on this channel. Let's see how the poll is doing. All right, people are liking the Death and Taxes Mirror and Grixis Delver versus Elf. So the Grix, so the... Urion Death and Taxes versus Death and Taxes Mirror is with Ronald playing, who's playing right now. And then the Grixis Delver versus Elves is Roland with Grixis Delver, the deck you're seeing right now versus Elves. And then the Death and Taxes versus Jeskai Raghavan is me versus Mr. Lee. And Death and Taxes versus Blue Red Delver is Mr. Lee versus Roland. Yeah, people are voting for Death and Taxes Mirror. People are voting for that. <laughs> yes, all those crazy people. Is it one person with a million channel points? It's probably Chileth, honestly. It's probably Chileth. You can use bits or channel points to vote multiple times, everybody. Yeah, for some reason I don't think that was used already. Uh, oh, so Roland tapping two here. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> we have people making fun of the people that want the death and taxes mirror. Roland climbing back into this one though. Calls your come play at hard to beat though. I don't know how he's going to beat that. Do I like flaming Hot Cheetos? I don't know if I've ever had them, honestly. I really don't know. I probably wouldn't like them, though. I like Cheetos, but like other flavors of stuff, I don't know. Spike Pack TV contributed 10 bits. Chileth, 19,000 channel points. And we're doing Yuri on Death and Taxes versus Death and Taxes next. Thank you, Chileth. 19,000 channel points well spent. <laughs> Tyler Coblin Grandee says, I like playing tabletop while eating Cheetos. <laughs> Chileth outed is rigging the poll. What's up, XJ Cloud? Big fan of XJ Cloud as well. XJ Cloud is a homie. I'm just, I, I uh, ne never, um, never play Death and Taxes. So, people think as a as a Goblins player, I'm an enemy of Death and Taxes player, but but I'm an ally. I'm an ally. 
We're all friends. <laughs> Cheaters are the best cleaners for Power Nine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on the subject of like um, uh, stuff that's pissing off Magic players, including all the secret layers and stuff. For some, for some of you, what snacks are just should be banned from Magic tournaments? What snacks should be banned from Magic tournaments? <laughs> <laughs> Vile friends. What's up, Static Grip? Hell yeah. Vile decks stick together. Except for Esper Vile. <laughs> Actually, uh, JTL, uh, the, you know, probably the most well-known player of Esper Vile, is a, is a local New York City friend and uh, is cool people, so. I like Esper Vile, too. Cheetos is Cheetos just like the worst like is Cheetos just the lowest we can go is there any worse snack I think pizza is pretty bad like I've had people at the shop eating pizza and I'm just like Oof. soup <laughs> does soup even count as a snack I don't know expressive iteration expressive iteration is uh maybe gonna get rolling back in this game but it's not looking very good right now at six life Powder, powdered donuts is pretty bad, yeah. Ooh, what's something sticky? Yeah. <laughs> LGS sold soup. Oh man. Buffalo wings. I think I think Alex actually got the worst one. Buffalo wings is pretty bad. Buffalo wings is probably like, heinous is the right word. Heinous is the right word. <laughs> Anonymouth, what's up, Anonymouth? Ribs. <laughs> Tyler Guy Grandi with one of the worst ideas yet for this channel. If, if you're tuning in for the first time and, and um, the, the conversation we're having right now in chat is any indicator, this channel is really weird and that makes no sense. Sauced up ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Such a funny mental picture. <laughs> I think I think hot wings, ribs, and soup are the winners. Sloppy Joes are pretty bad too. Sloppy Joes are pretty. Do people still eat Sloppy Joes? Like, when's the last time anyone watching right now has eaten a Sloppy Joe? And was it in the past five years? Nachos? It depends on the nachos. <laughs> Escargo. <laughs> why, the, why the hell would anybody eat escargo at a magic tournament? Your family loves sloppy joes. Okay. I just, I guess I don't, I don't eat sloppy joes. I don't know. Sloppy joes are very 2004. I agree. They're also very, um, they're very demographically narrow. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I don't. I don't think a lot of people eat sloppy joes in general, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Word. I haven't had a sloppy joe in like a decade either. Roland desperately trying to express a iteration and scoops it up. That was not looking good for a long time for Roland. And death and taxes. Yurion takes it down, and we're gonna see Yurion death and taxes again next round in a mirror against a sixty card version. A sixty card version. Um, let me set that up now. The uh, video just reset, but don't worry about that. I went up by ten thousand. Oh boy! I made sure to have a nice lead. Yeah. 